Hey, what's up guys, Houston here. And for those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that's always following me and supporting me, salute, as well as my faithful patrons, always, devil salute. Now, today's video, we're gonna be talking about delivery drivers. If you have had an issue getting personal loans as a delivery driver from your bank. I'm going to be talking to you about some of the lenders that you can actually go th go to that don't do a hard inquiry on your credit, okay? They don't do a hard inquiry on your credit, okay? And I'm going to talk about some of the things that you can actually show proof of income because one of the things like as delivery drivers or independent contractor drivers and stuff like that, the hardest thing for a financial institution is to prove that you actually have income, right? So that being said, let's talk about that. Ways that you can show proof. Now, sometimes there's the typical way, the pay stubs, right? Then you have your uh, tax returns. Now, again, for the lenders we're going to be talking about, they do a soft pull. And a lot of these lenders, um, they more or less focus on your income and your debt to income ratio, okay? So that's the reason why if you have bad credit as a delivery driver, you may be able to still qualify for a loan. All right, so you have that, then you have your bank statements. Now, this is very important because I continue to tell you guys, if nothing else, build a relationship with that financial institution, making weekly deposits, all right? So with some of these lenders, They'll even just take your bank statements, two to three months of bank statements to help you qualify for a personal loan. Again, when I tell you all, if you're operating as a delivery driver or a courier, whether you're working for DoorDash, Uber, Lyft, or something like that, again, making those weekly deposits, that helps build up the business credit as well, but also helping you get qualified not only for business loans, but for personal loans also. So that's the reason it's important. If you need help structuring your business, then click the link below and set up a consultation with three-way funding. But it's so important that you understand why it's necessary to have those bank statements, all right? Because you can go to multiple lenders with those same bank statements and raise more capital. So that's the reason those bank statements are so important. Then you have your um, P&Ls, your profit and loss statements. And then you may be retired, you receive a Social Security um, benefits. But you still have your um, side hustle delivering and stuff like that. So by you having the Social Security benefits and stuff like that, showing that you actually do have income coming in, that can help you even if you have bad credit. All right. Now, some of these lenders that we want to talk about to help you, you have um, Upgrade. Now, with Upgrade, uh, they go anywhere from a thousand up to fifty thousand. And remember, like I said, it depends on the income and your debt to income ratio. The good thing about it, uh, to qualify for the loan, they want you to have at least a six hundred. Even though they do a soft pull, their threshold is a six hundred. All right. Also, the, the cool part about it, if you don't have credit, if you just have a thin credit file, you're just building up credit, then, like I told you, when you're working on your credit, don't you don't have to have a whole lot of revolving credit cards. Or so it's very important that if you have the revolving credit cards, you need to have a loan on your file to help balance the file out so that you can get access to more capital. All right, so, and these here lenders, they report to all three credit bureaus. So that's another thing that's going to help you out. Now, the other one is Avant. 
Now with a with a bond, they go anywhere from two thousand up to thirty five thousand. Right? So they go from two thousand up to thirty five thousand. They're only in forty states. So if you've been you ever used them or tried to use them and you didn't get approved and stuff like that, it's because of um they may not be operating in your state. Like I said, with New York, New York has a lot of regulations for personal loans and payday loans and stuff like that. So that's the reason it's so hard to find different lenders in New York. That's the reason I tell with New York, it's best to be able to go to like a credit union or something like that to get a personal loan. Right? So with uh, a bond, you have to show proof of income on that one. So that proof of income could be either one of those. Now, here's another one, lending point. Now with lending point, they go anywhere from 2,000 up to 36, 36,000. And their uh, credit score is a 580. They want you to have at least a 580 credit score. And the average person that gets approved, they have an income of about $35,000 a year. That's average. That does not mean that you won't be approved for them, but that's their average of people that have got a, gotten approved. They have at least $35,000 income. All right. So don't think because you may have less income that you won't get approved. It's just that that's their average. All right. Then you have uh, upstart. Now, with um, excuse me, up, upgrade is a excuse me, upgrade is a five sixty uh, credit score. Sorry about that, guys. I'm, I'm confused here because um, I've been talking all morning. But so with um, this is Upgrade. Upgrade and, and Upstart, they're, they're two different companies and I, I get them mixed up. But with um, Upgrade is a 560 credit score. Up, upstart, this is Upstart. All right, so Upstart. It's still a thousand to fifty thousand, but they want a six hundred. With upgrade, they want a five sixty, okay, uh, credit score. So excuse me for that, but they still go anywhere from a thousand up to fifty thousand. So you have four lenders there. Then you have Cash USA. Now with Cash USA, they are. Uh, from five thousand up to ten thousand. Okay. Now the thing about it is your income has to be at least a thousand dollars, and you have to have a um, bank account. All right. So for some of you guys that have applied for loans and stuff like that as delivery drivers and stuff. Um, some of these lenders, if, if you have a debit card or something, they'll put the money on a debit card. But for most of these lenders, they want you to have at least a checking account. So if you're a delivery driver and stuff like that, that's something that you really have to pay attention to if you have an actual checking account. That's the reason I said set the corporation up, open up the business bank account and the personal bank account. I did make a video, if you want to see that video, of the different... Uh, if you have bad credit, you still can open up, or you are in check system, there are banks that will still let you open up a business account. So if you want to see that video, just put a comment below, hey Houston, can I see that video, right? And so that being said, Cash USA, they go from $5,000 up to $10,000 loan, but you have to have at least an income of $1,000. Now, here's the thing about the soft pool that I would um, tell you guys, with, with the soft pull, they're not pulling from the major credit bureaus as, as I always tell you. They're going to use Clarity that's owned by Experian. They're going to use Data X that's owned by Equifax. They're going to use uh, Factor Trust. 
Now, if you have these files locked, make sure that you unlock these files before you apply for these loans, okay? That's owned by TransUnion. Or they may use a core logic. All right? Now, here's the thing that I would tell you all. If you just by chance, if you have bad credit, but they still approve you, just say that they approve you for um, a $10,000 loan. This is what I would do. This is what I would do if I'm a delivery driver and I have bad credit and they approve me for a, um, a $10,000 loan. What I would do, I would probably go to an auto auction with that $10,000 and I would buy another car. Then I would take that car and I would put it on like get around um, fair uh, Toro or something like that and let that vehicle make me money. So while I'm operating my business doing deliveries and stuff, I'll let that vehicle make me money. Then I would also take out a title loan on that vehicle as well. So then I would take the title loan out on that vehicle, take that money from the title loan, and I would buy uh, stuff to sell online. Like I would buy a mystery box from like eBay or Amazon, someplace like that, or these wholesale sellers, and I would sell those products and stuff online. So now you have products that are selling online, you're making money. You have a car that you're renting out, making money, plus you're operating your business. Now you have multiple streams of income. This is so important because a lot of people that are doing delivery driving, that's all they do. So then if your car breaks down, you don't have no more money coming in, then now you're SOL temporarily, right? But if you do this here, um, if you're able to qualify for a $10,000 loan, buy another vehicle, put it on the platform, take a title loan, buy some other products to sell. Now you have multiple streams of income. This is how you keep on growing to that six figures because doing a delivery driver, yes, I did make a video about a woman that works from Walmart that uh, delivered from delivered for Walmart that made over a hundred thousand dollars but you can do it an easier way so and again she was operating under her social and not under her EIN so that hundred thousand dollars just at forty percent of it end up going to the IRS you don't want that you want to be able to make as much money as you can and keep as much money as you can all right. So that's the reason why you want to operate as a corporation. That's the reason I tell you if you have questions about setting up your business, about understanding how to restore your personal credit, click the link below and set up a consultation with three way funding. All right. So let's talk more about these uh, lenders. You have bad credit loans. It's a platform. Now, with this here platform, they go anywhere from 500 up to 10,000. 500 up to 10,000. But you do have to have a bank account, and the minimum amount of income you have to be making is 1,000. So as a delivery driver for Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, Ship, a carrier company, any of those, again, these companies, they do a soft pull. They're going to look at one of these here credit files, but in terms of leveraging so that you're making money and the business is making money while you're sleeping, that strategy I just explained to you is what I would do. Now, here's another lender, uh, excuse me, one main financial. Now, the thing about it, a lot of people, they don't like one that made financial. They say it's too complicated or whatever, but they go anywhere from $1,500 up to $20,000. And again, a soft pull on the credit. Then you have Opportune. They go up to $10,000. Again, soft pull. A lot of people... 
They're not in every state, but for the states that they operate in, a lot of people have had success with them. Now, you have personal loans, and we're going to talk about some of the, if you have a business, if you want to get a business loan, there is a company out there that will actually give you a loan if you start a business or you don't have any documentation. So we're going to talk about that as well. So with the personal, excuse me, with the personal uh, loans, uh, dot com. Now with the personal loans dot com, they go anywhere from five hundred up to thirty five thousand. Five hundred up to thirty five thousand. You do have to show proof of income, but they will accept your bank statements. That's the reason. Like I said, with your bank statements, you're able to get more money. Not just with one lender. With multiple lenders, you can get more money. That's the reason I tell you guys, make the deposits. Build up the relationship. So when the bank said, well, we can't help you, you can take those bank statements and say, okay, bro, I got you. And you go somewhere else and still get the money you need to help you. All right? So here's some lenders that if you need a business loan, you have unsecured, excuse me, you got unsecured financial. Now, with unsecured financial, like I said, they do no doc loans. And they loan up to, um, I think it's five, 500,000. That's for a new business. The thing about it is you do have to have a 650 credit score in order to qualify for them. All right. So and then you have a you have a um, Acorn Financial. Excuse me. Acorn Financial. And they loan up to a hundred thousand for the business all right now that's just a part of it if you guys are needing a new vehicle and you have bad credit and stuff here's some lenders that can help you these are bad credit auto loans these are the lenders that you may want to consider reaching out to all right you have Auto Credit Express. With Auto Credit Express, your income, you must be making at least $1,500. And they want you to have, uh, excuse me, 10% down. All right? So if you have bad credit, if you're making $1,500 monthly, and you have at least 10% down, they will help you. You have another one. You have car.loans.com. Now, with car.loans.com, again, they want to show proof of income. So using those bank statements, so using those bank statements not only to get a personal loan, but to use those bank statements to get a car loan. So you still, uh, again, have, having leveraging those business bank statements and those personal bank statements to get to get your life back moving forward, okay? And the cool part about it, even if you have no credit score, they will work with you. They will work with you. And then you have my auto loan. Dot com. Now, with my autoloan.com, again, they go from 5,000 loans up to 99,000. Your income has to be 1,500 monthly, okay? You have to at least make 1,500. But they're a marketplace. They're a marketplace. They have access to 20 lenders. Again, 
because they're marketplace only if you approve for the loan is when they uh, do the hard inquiry but the marketplace they will let you check and see what you qualify for as interest rates and stuff like that now in terms of the cars the car cannot be over 10 years old um, if you're buying it from a dealer, if it's a dealer sale, it, it can't have over 125,000. If it's a private seller, it can't have over 20,000 miles. 125 on the uh, dealer and 120,000 on that. Now, I hope that this video helps you understand as a delivery driver, yes, you can be able to get a personal loan with bad credit. Again, using that strategy I explained to you, don't just rely on you driving a vehicle. Build up a business where you're making multiple streams of income, okay? If you have questions, click the link below, set up a consultation with me at threewayfunding.com. This is Houston. Again, for those of you that just found my YouTube channel, Welcome, please remember to subscribe for those of you that's been supporting me as always. Salute.